All right, we've learned a little bit about networking. We've learned a little bit about how the internet works. Every host has to have a unique address. Now we've learned about classful addressing as well and something we call classless addressing. Well, the classful addressing, if you remember, were three classes, A, B, and C, and there were a certain number of bits in each network address that corresponded to the network portion and that corresponded to the host portion. Converting those bits into dotted decimal is a skill. Uh, you need to go back and you need to review converting binary to decimal and converting decimal back to binary. If you're going to work with this at all, you really need to do that. So let's take a look at the three network address types we can come up with. There are three, the first one being the network address itself. And let's take a simple address of 10.0.0.0. Now I'm going to say this is a class A address, which would mean the first byte would be the network portion and the last three bytes would be the host portion. But I'm going to say that this is my network portion. Okay, that leaves this last byte as my host portion. Now remember, that byte can be designated as eight binary digits. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, now the network address, all the host bits are going to be off. This, from this line over, are host bits. If all the host bits are turned off, you have a network address. The next type of address is a broadcast. If in your address you have all the ones turned on in the host portion. And by going back and reviewing your binary to decimal conversion, you're going to see that this is equivalent to 255. This is considered a broadcast address. So all bits off is a network, all, bit, all host bits off is a network address, all host bits on is a broadcast address. What's the third type? The third type would be a host address. For instance, 10.0.0.1, let's say. It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1. Okay, it's a host address is anything between all zeros and all ones. So it's anything between there. Now we should be able to extrapolate a little fact from that. If the network address is all zeros and the broadcast address is all ones, I can't use those to address the host. So this address and this address are not available to me. So that means I can have everything in a host address from 1 to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I can have everything from there to there. This number in decimal is 254. So from 1 to 254 in this example are my possible host addresses. My broadcast address is all 1's. And my host address, my network address, excuse me, host bits are all zero. Now let's take a look at another concept quickly, the concept of prefix. Okay, remember when we were talking about classful addressing, we said that um, class A, the first byte was the host, uh, excuse me, the network address or the network portion of the address. Class B, the first two bytes were the network portion, and in class C, the first three bytes were the network portion. Well, we're going to refine that just a little bit because we want to use classless uh, addressing. So, 
we use a prefix. The definition of a prefix is that the prefix length is the number of bits in the address that gives you the network portion of that address. Okay, so let's look at that, what that means. If I say the number of bits, or the prefix length, excuse me, is the number of bits that give me the network portion, let's see what that means. Let's say I have an address like 172.16.4.0 slash 24. 24 slash 24 is that prefix number I was just talking about. Okay, let's see what that means. Let's break, put this number down in binary. 172 is 10101100. 10, 16 is 16. And 4 is that. That's my first three bytes. How many bits is that? That's 24 bits. Eight bits here, eight bits here, and eight bits here. So this prefix, this 24, says my network portion is that 24 bits. But I've got more stuff there, don't I? I've got another byte or another octet. of 8 bits, because I've got a 32-bit address, I've got another 8 bits that are my host. So we still have the same concept, and this really is the same thing as a class C network, where the first three octets are the network portion of the address, and the last octet is the host portion, but we define it by prefix. We say 24, slash 24. Okay, and the reason we do that is because we can also have this network, 172.16.4.0 slash 25. Okay, this is saying 25 bits are going to be in my network portion. So what did that do? That means I'm going to take this original 24 bits, but I'm going to Steal this bit here. I'm going to draw, as Professor Harpinch like to say, likes to say, a fence. This is now my network portion. Okay, 25 bits. 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus 1. Notice we continue to go to the right. We don't skip any. We don't jump over any. We don't say, well, I'll come back and get you later. 25 bits. This is now my network portion. Okay, so let's go back for a second to the 24 that we had. Now remember what we just defined as three types of addresses. We defined a network address. So my network address here is going to be whatever the network portion is with all zeros in the host, right? So this is 172.16. 4.0. That's my network portion. I mean, that's my network address. Now, what was the broadcast address? The broadcast address was where all the host bits were turned on. When all those host bits are turned on, what does that equal? We've got 172.16.4. If I turn all those bits on, 255. So for this Let's, let's get rid of the 25 for a second. For this particular network with that prefix, I've got a network address of 172.16.4.0, and I've got a broadcast address of 172.16.4.255. Now remember my host addresses? My host addresses or anything between those. So my host addresses go anywhere from 172.16.4.1 through .254. 
and then my broadcast is 255. I can't use this, and I can't use this, but I can, for my host, use anything between. So remember from our classful discussions, it's the same thing with the slash 24. How many host addresses do I have? 1 to 254. So I have 254 host addresses okay, for that network. Now, let's make the change we did here. I'm just going to change this a little bit. Oops, I didn't want to erase all of that. Well, yeah, I do, sort of. Let's erase that. Let's come back here. Now, on this network, I got a new network here, 172.16.4.0 slash 25. I changed it. I'm taking 8 plus 8 plus 8 plus one more bit here. That is now my network. The thing with the network, and the reason we call this a fence is because on this side of the fence, you can't touch that. That's your network portion. That's what's given to you. You cannot modify that at all, which is going to be important when we get into subnetting and see where we actually create different networks and how we do it. But let's just understand the concepts for right now. I've got 25 bits that I can't touch. Look, the network is still the same, all zeros in the host and all ones in the host is the broadcast. So what does that do for my network address now? 172.16.4, that didn't change it. So it's still 172.16.4.0. Hmm, that's strange. But where the 25 comes in now, my broadcast becomes 172.16.4. dot. I'm going to add up these seven ones. Go through your binary to decimal conversion, and you're going to come up with 127. So you'll notice my broadcast has just changed from 172.16.4.255 to 172.16.4.127. Now, what do we say about the host? The host addresses are between those extremes. So I can go anywhere from 1 to 126. So if I can go from 1 to 126, how many hosts can I have? 126. So I just by taking that one extra bit from my network, I went from being able to have 254 hosts down to being able to have 126 hosts. Okay? Now let's do one more while that's there. Let's do this one. Let's do 172.16.4.0 slash 26. Hmm. Now I'm going to take 26 bits in my prefix, which says that's how many bits are in my network portion of the address. 8 plus 8 plus 8 is 24 plus 2. Now I'm taking those two zeros off there taking the first two zeros off the last byte. Now I've got 26 bits for my prefix. Guess what that did for my network address? Not a thing. It's still the same. 172.16.4. Everything is zeros. Okay, but then I've only got six ones there in my host portion. When I go to get my broadcast address, if you add up these six ones, that now becomes dot 63. Okay? That's dot 63. So now I can go anywhere between 0 and dot 63, which means I can have 1 to 62, which means I can have 62 hosts. Okay? Slash 26, 62 hosts. Slash 25, 126 hosts. Slash 24, 254 hosts. So you can see as I steal bits away and I keep moving my network address portion down, I can have fewer and fewer hosts. I go from 254 to 126, 
to 162 by the time, or to 62 by the time I get to a slash 26 prefix. Okay, so that's a little discussion on the network address, the broadcast address, and the host addresses, and how we calculate that using a prefix. The prefix length being the number of bits in the address that give us our network portion. Okay, in the next few lectures we're going to continue, we're going to expand upon this a little bit so that we can get into subnetting.